Each of the winners of this year's Vans Triple Crown of Surfing will win $50,000 as well as a guaranteed spot into the 2023 Vans Pipe Masters. Individual location awards will be given to the top three scoring competitors, both male and female, based on their combined two ride total for that location with the highest point total winning. Second place will receive $3,000, third place will receive $2,000, and fourth place will receive $1,000 each. In addition, the top three placing men and women at Pipeline and Backdoor will also receive invitations to the 2023 Vans Pipe Masters Invitational. We're about to announce the winners of the 2023 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing. What do you want to do first, men's or women's? Let's go with the women's. Okay. The ladies first. In fourth place, Moana Jones Wong. <laughs> In third place, Brisa Hennessy. In second place, Zoe McDougal. And in first place, your women's winner of the 2023 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing is Carissa Moore. we decided to catch her off guard and surprise her about the win. So are you guys just covering, what, what is this for? These are just straightforward, just talking about your experience, your approach going into the event. Okay. Pretty, pretty standard. I am born, bred, and currently still live on the South Shore of Oahu, so I am a townie at heart. <laughs> so I have been commuting almost every day to the North Shore. It's about a 45 minute to an hour, hour and a half drive at times. I am renting a spot on the North Shore, but uh, there's just something about sleeping in your own bed and being in your familiar, you know, surroundings that uh, I just want to take advantage of. So, how does it feel to be the winner of the 2023 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, I'm a little surprised. I just like, uh, I mean, really? <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, we ambushed you. No, that's okay. I mean, I, I don't know why I'm crying. It was stressful. <laughs> oh, I'm, wow. Um, I'm really stoked. Thank you so much. I was just like, I was like reviewing all the clips like over and over in my head and like, I'm such a horrible judge. And I was like, I can't, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go mad if I look at this anymore. I was okay with whatever the outcome was, but I'm really, really stoked. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yay. I made a last minute ditch effort at Hall of I don't know if it even like made or came into account, but I like drove out like, halfway through the day and I was just like, okay, like this is the last session I'll get. And hopefully I get a clip. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> so we actually have something for uh, you. <laughs> Do you need help? Thank you, Corey. I really <laughs> appreciate it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Are you surprised? I am so surprised. I'm seriously so surprised. Thank you, it's gorgeous. I'm seriously still so surprised. I was looking at Zoe's waves at Haleiwa and Moana's perfect 10 at Pipe and obviously Brisa and Gabby, like their turns at Sunset and Haleiwa. So like there's a lot of really excellent surfing going on. I just was like, hey, hopefully I'm in the mix and I'm so happy, thank you. When I was selecting my clips, I talked to my husband and my dad and then I also, I'm working with my coach, Love Hodel, this winter on the North Shore, and also the, a coach that I work with a lot, Mitch Ross. So I was like sending all of them clips and being like, okay, what should I submit? What looks good? I feel very fortunate that I get to work with filmers, um, Lisa and Rick from Swell Patrol, and they were there like every day grinding. Like, yeah, it was definitely a huge team effort. I want to send my deepest gratitude to Vans. You know, one of the questions when I was filling out my registration was, where's that money going to go? And I'm definitely going to put it towards my charitable foundation. So this is a huge help. Thank you, guys. 
perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> Dylan, are you ready to hear the men's winners of the Vance Triple Crown? Bring it on. In fourth place, Ethan Ewing. In third, Ivan Florence. In second place, Emai Kalani Devault. And in first place, your men's winner for the 2023 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing is Finnegan Thunders McGill. What? <laughs> what? Oh, thank you. Yeah. What? You guys changed me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my we God. just had to get you. <laughs> Here's your oh like, super awkwardly heavy, beautiful trophy. Holy crap. It's heavy. You got that it? It is heavy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I know yes. you were working in the yard all day, but here's oh, the one I got. That was you. worth it. That was worth it. <laughs> yeah, Holy dude. Crap. Congrats. Did not expect this at all, that's for sure. And what's up with you guys saying that it was a 26 you guys were announcing it? Isn't it 24th? Day? Well, this comes out on the 26th. Oh, okay. We're in the future Whoops. right you now. You guys need to cut that, my bad. <laughs> Did you have any idea you were gonna win? Honestly, me and yeah, me and Emi are really close. From the uh, Oh sorry, I'm a little <laughs> yeah, just, I'm a nervous, take it in, I don't take know. It in. Dude, right? it. Like, should we start spraying <laughs> should we spray <laughs> some beers <laughs> real quick? <laughs> No clue. Really? Not a clue at all. I mean, honestly, I was just like. No inklings? No. I mean, last night was was so, so stressful. It was insane. Well, because me and Ema were talking, and he was just like, yeah, I'm sitting on a banger back door wave. Like, it's an insane one. And I was like, just trying to mess with him, because I know how good of a surfer he is. I was like, the gal on my sunset waves fucked. Like, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I was just like, oh, man. Yeah, you, you got to watch out, bro. You got to watch out. I mean, we were scared of Ethan, mostly. Ethan was, he, that kid rips. You were actually meant to have a dentist appointment yesterday, or you were supposed to get your wisdom teeth out, and you weren't even gonna surf. Like, yeah. how, how did that go down? Yeah, honestly, uh, I misread the dates of this contest. <laughs> um, I thought it ended on the 22nd, so I told my dentist I got COVID. <laughs> Just to finish the last day, which I did it. You guys, don't worry, I, I didn't get it, but, um, I hope he doesn't see this. Oh, he's gonna see it. Well, your strategy clearly worked. It worked. Oh. So as a winner of the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing, you automatically get a spot in this year's Vans Pipe Masters. I do? Yes. Oh shit, no way. <laughs> oh, sorry, I keep cussing, my bad. <laughs> um, uh, well, I was really jealous, honestly, watching that event this year and not being in it, but it was amazing to see. I, I, I love the format. I love how it, it really kind of pushes everyone to do different things out there. I think I've landed my best airs ever out at Pipe. I 100% back it. I think it's awesome. Yeah, and also I'd like to thank all the filmers, you know, all those guys were, were really grinding out there too. I mean, especially my filmer Shane Kreutzer, we call him Flo. Anytime I was like sitting down, like relaxing, or trying to like <laughs> take a nap, he was like, Emi's getting a good clip right now, you know that. <laughs> you gotta better him. <laughs> Do you have any last words after this intense competition? Um, yeah, um, this one's just, you know, for Kalani, Kalani David. He was a real, Triple Crown, I think, winner. I mean, he was the best surfer I've seen in all three of those spots, so. Gave me the drive to do it. He gave me guidance and showed me how to go about it and surf. I thank him for everything. Awesome. Congrats, you thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. <sighs> thank you for watching this season of Stab and Man's The Pickup. Before we go, we'll leave you with our last segment. Coming in at a distant third to the lifeguards and Hawaiian Water Patrol, unsung heroes of the North Shore are without a doubt the filmers. 
As a reward for countless hours spent on the sand and in the elements, Vans is awarding $5,000 to the filmers who submitted the most clips for both the men's and women's sides of the Vans Triple Crown competition. At the time of recording, we don't know the winning filmers, but for our very last segment of this season of The Pickup, we chatted to some career lensmen to learn how they battle the elements, dehydration, and low-level insanity, all for the sake of not missing the clip. Dylan, take us out of this season of The Pickup. Thanks to everybody, all the locals, filmers, everybody here on the North Shore. We appreciate you having us. We'll see you next year. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. On a day like today, I'd be down here at the beach from 6.30 a.m., that's kind of when like you can start filming, to 5 p.m., that's like eight, nine, even 10 hours sometimes. At least two to three sessions, anywhere from three, four hours. Even when it's bad, I feel like we're still putting in three, four hour sessions. If it's firing, like up to even eight hours. I think we've done eight hour days before. But probably on average, yeah, like five to six. Definitely full on filming. We've been filming every day for the last 20 days. I try and go for as long as possible. Just until we can't feel our legs, that'll probably be like the four hour mark. And then come in, get a protein bar, go back out. Some days are so long and gnarly, dude. You just, it makes you like grateful for the days that aren't very good because you can chill and get stuff done, you know? As far as like snacks, I'll pack like a protein bar, like a Go Macro bar. I'll pack like an applesauce. I didn't bring anything down. This is my first beer. Oh my gosh. Uh, I bring water and then I grind those Costco and Nature Valley bars, like the green ones. I have like six in my pack. Best clip I ever shot on the North Shore was probably Griffin Colpinto two and a half weeks ago. Probably the best wave that I've seen him catch and best wave that I've probably captured. A no make full row at Rocky's last winter of Noah. Something about like the light and the clouds and he was wearing a white wetsuit. It was a no make but it was shot super slow mo and it just looks super magical. Bruce Irons on a Eric Arakawa rising sunboard. This crazy roll in into like a no hand grab into just like a stand up barrel. Best clip I've ever gotten on North Shore. Go. Probably that one right there. That was a good clip. The worst clip I've ever missed. I'd like to think wasn't completely my fault. Chobu, Noah's toe wave. I can't believe I'm even saying it. I missed Noah's best wave of his life. I missed the clip. I've missed a good amount of clips today, but honestly, I feel like a robot. Just kind of like me, me, me. Beep, boop, boop, bop, bop. I'd normally, I never miss clips. Quote me on that. I've never missed it. Actually, that's a lie. I fully missed it want to say a quick shout out to all the Hawaiian dudes out here filming and busting their butt every single day. All of these guys out here like like kind of open up their arms to all of us coming here and like trying to work you know and like it's all about being respectful but these guys are like the coolest dudes ever and they work their butt off here year round so like respect to them fully to the fullest. Cheers.